Hi, hey, welcome to Lunch with the Doc. I'm Dr. Gary Arthur here in Laguna Beach once again. I'm a doctor of chiropractic and just finishing up my naturopathic degree. I'm here with my lovely daughter, Maria. Hey, everybody. You, you know her. She's the bright light. Her middle name is Nahani, which uh, means the beautiful one who shines. Would you agree? Oh, my Come on. Wow. We also have a friend here, Josh. Uh, Josh, we got to get a seat for you here, bud. <laughs> Josh, pull oh, yeah. this one right over. Yeah, pull on over. Hey, everybody. Now, this is our Josh. Let's scoot me over. <laughs> So Josh can get in the picture. Come on, <laughs> snuggle up here. All right. So we are here at Oak. We love Oak. Oak is a great <laughs> restaurant. Mm -hmm. We can actually check the waves out from here. If the wind doesn't get too much, I'm out here today to catch some of this stuff. Yes. So do you surf a little bit? Uh, I surf a little bit. I'm just going to be looking for whales while you guys do this whole thing. You, <laughs> you know, we had orcas here. Three See, weeks ago, it is. Oh. See, three <laughs> weeks ago, during the Brook Street contest, the orcas were swimming by. One of my buddies, Rich, was out on his stand-up paddleboard. The orcas, he took a video and he put a, a picture of this in the uh, three weeks ago in the local paper. Um, there was a picture oh, yeah. of a dolphin that jumped out of the water like this. And in the middle of the air, the orca jumped up, got it in its mouth, and ate it for lunch. Wow. <laughs> a little snack. <laughs> so I didn't really know that. I knew they eat seals, but I didn't. And I knew that they like to attack and kill great whites, which I'm okay with. Yeah. Absolutely. Actually, I think they should do a little more of that. <laughs> but, uh, so anyhow, here we are um, enjoying this beautiful day. Yes. So Mo, what in the world are we going to talk about today? Today, we have a really cool topic for you guys. So Paul Check, he is a world-renowned... you bring his book too? I did. Awesome. Yeah, world-renowned author. He talks about um, exercise kinesiology, high-performance training, and how to do that well. So we're going to be talking about some of his tools and insight into um, exercise and how to train without pain. So it's going to be really interesting. But before we get into that, we kind of yeah. want to um, introduce CarePoint and um, who they are and what they do. They're one of our partners. They're amazing. Doing some really cool stuff that's actually super new to um, the health field and bringing them into the We're getting, we're getting nice and close. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just want to make sure we can see it since you're going to be talking. Yes. What in the world is CarePoint? Why is it important for them to know about it? Awesome. So what CarePoint is, is we are a healthcare rewards engagement platform. So you guys may have a credit card or a favorite airline that you use to get points or miles and then you get to redeem those miles for free flights or upgrades or credit card, you get a whole bunch of rewards. And CarePoint is that, but for healthcare. So you actually earn points for doing things like taking your steps, working out, answering a uh, mood question, or in this case, if you go to Health and Balance, you can actually earn points for a number of different things. Um, I actually got a detox foot bath on Friday, uh, which is now my second detox foot bath, and I can tell you, I leave that foot bath with, I think there's energy, and then there's like me after a foot bath. <laughs> oh my God, I, so I, I, I shots of espresso. Oh, at times like four. I actually hadn't even had my coffee or breakfast when I left my health and balance, and I felt better than I have drinking any sort of coffee. Why do you think that is? You know, when I have the detox foot baths, I have a dog, I you know run around with him in the backyard, I play um, beach flag football in the sand with no shoes, so I definitely am using my feet a lot, and um, with the detox foot bath, the um, toxins are actually drawn out of me um, with both positive and negative ions. Yeah. And I think that my body after the detox foot bath just has a much, much better, um, I mean, there's less toxins in there. Right. So I'm naturally going to be a little bit more energetic than I am. Isn't it amazing how gross the water looks after it's done? Uh, you know, I try not to think about that, but yes. <laughs> but you, you look know, down and it's like, holy shit, did this come out of me? Oh, absolutely. And that's, <laughs> I think, the craziest part is, you know, you want it to not be that gross. Yeah. And both times it has, which a little embarrassing to admit, but honestly, you feel so much better afterwards that 
um, even during you kind of feel a little bit of a tingly feeling yeah. Yeah. and then afterwards you get done and it's just I, seriously you feel like you've had two shots of espresso except it's in a much more natural yeah, way it's a healthy healthy glow you know I as, as a scientific doctor I wanted to see what the difference would be if there was reactions that occurred just in water so I put I put an array I bought an array for the water and I bought an array for my food. they need to know what an array is the uh, array is the part yeah. of the food that that goes in the water to send out the positively and negatively charged ions and then the toxins are pulled through so it's a little metal component that goes in the water and they've done they've done research showing you know the water before and after a treatment and how much how many um, heavy metals and things like that are in the water and, and how much less heavy metals there are after like a series of 10 of these they do a blood a titer of heavy metals and they see the heavy metal um, load drop lead mercury nickel things like that but the interesting thing was is like okay so i watched the water over here just reacting with the minerals that are in the water and then look at the water that is interacting with my body it's like oh my gosh <laughs> this is gross and if something's happening there because you can see the minerals that are in the water reacting but compared to this it's like dirty bath water versus clean water so anyhow all right so is there how would they go about inter engaging with care point like what would be the steps if somebody wanted to actually find out more about care point? Sure. So what you guys can do is actually just go on your uh, App Store or Google Play and actually just go ahead and download CarePoint. A uh, little spoiler alert, you actually earn about $10 for just downloading CarePoint. So hint, hint, you can actually download CarePoint and then use it right at Health and Balance for a detox foot bath. Uh, <laughs> Or a you know chiropractic session or yes. an infusion treatment. There's so many awesome things that you guys yeah, do. IV nutrition. Yeah, IV yeah. nutrition. Yeah. So many things that you guys can do with health and balance. Um, even for me, I love my alkaline water. I got a big jug of alkaline water when I was down at Health and Balance a week and a half ago. So um, you can use CarePoint to earn points. And um, if you actually send a message uh, through to us, we'll even put you on our. Uh, CarePoint Prime program where you will earn a number of points for answering questions and steps. So feel free to shoot us a message nice. and then you can spend it right here with Health and Balance. Yes, awesome. love it. It's awesome. I mean, it's like, you know, all of us are living healthy lifestyles and trying to make those choices, right? But when we actually get rewarded for that, it makes it a whole lot different. So it's a really cool platform to be able to be, feel like you're getting some positive um, feedback for doing what you're doing. That is helping your body. So it's not like getting a free trip to Hawaii because you used your credit card. Exactly. And, uh, it's like, oh, I have miles on this that I just earned by just paying. I would have written a check by using my credit card and. I got a free trip to Hawaii. Yep. Exactly. All right. Awesome. So let's talk. Um, we talked a little bit about how to avoid going into pain if you're wanting to train and work out. Or if you're in pain, what are the steps to get out of pain so you can get back to working out quickly? So this is the book, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy by Paul Check. This guy is a genius. He makes somewhere between $500 and $1,000 an hour. To train train the, the best athletes and the elite people that really want to take this thing seriously mm -hmm. I want to show you a picture of this guy now I think this picture was taken he was 47 years old and this look at this guy this guy's a specimen he started working with the army um, boxing team and the year that he started training them I think the army represented the United States in uh, like nine out of the 12 categories because he trained these guys so well so it's it's all about primal movements and this book how to eat move to be healthy I will actually give anybody who buys this book and reads it I will give you the full purchase price plus the shipping and the tax if you read it and didn't think it was worth it I'll buy it back from you 100% every penny you pay for the book. I'll take it and give it to somebody, okay? So, he talks about primal movements, functional movements. He talks about diet, how to figure out what your what your dietary um, needs are. 
Awesome. We're, are we getting some food here? Oh, yeah, I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, no, I want <laughs> you. We from, want you to interrupt. Yes. Absolutely. This is from the Oh, beautiful. Wow. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank it's you for amazing. joining us. Beautiful. Well, we want to feature your restaurant and let the community know how, what a good job you guys do. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. We actually appreciate it. And Bill Dalkey is a friend of ours. Oh. Yeah, he was and the architect. He, comes, he, he did the construction here. Yes, yeah. exactly. And yes. so we want to put a plug out for Bill Dalkey and his his company um, because he's a great contractor and um, so we're ready to order awesome I'll, no problem let me tell you what's in yeah, there yes. so this is a small moose bush for from our albacore stack so basically uh, albacore tuna fresh cut and cubes i'm gonna start right away thank you so much thank you very much we love oak they're amazing such good food and we're excited to try this beautiful now, I can't have corn. Oh, yeah, you can't have corn. Okay. Yeah, but I can have everything that sits on top of the corn. Mm -hmm. I had a blood test and found out that I was both gluten and corn sensitive. And those things can actually make autoimmunity worse. That's another topic. You can go through our archives if you join our website. If you want to get more information about autoimmunity and what can be done to handle autoimmunity or to at least not let it get worse and try to get things under control with it, then we have a whole um, a whole show that we did on autoimmunity. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God, for this food. Bless to our bodies. Amen. Amen. All right. <laughs> so good. Just make okay, my mom so proud and put your napkin in your lap. Oh, mom. yeah, exactly. All right, so we're getting back um, like to that? we're getting back to Paul Chow. Okay, so he's an amazing guy. We should listen to him because he has years of experience. Big people pay the big bucks to train. Like them. Kobe Bryant, yep. Larry Hamilton, even Shaq. At the end of his career, he wanted to keep on playing a little, uh, a little bit longer. Um, he is the trainer of trainers. You can check out uh, the Czech Institute, and um, and there are a lot of uh, trainers that are trained by um, Paul Czech. And I'm gonna at the end of this, I'm gonna give a little uh, talk about some of the trainers that I know that are in town that are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of us, you know, we we want to exercise, we want to be healthy, we're doing everything we can to do what we think is best for our bodies, right? But sometimes. We end up, you know, exercising and we injure ourselves and then we keep exercising just trying to, you know, like got to get our workout in, all that kind of stuff. But sometimes we, in an effort to help ourselves, we actually end up harming ourselves. So where is that line and what are some things that we need to do? What can we learn from Paul Check that can help us um, really be doing things that are actually beneficial for our bodies in the long run? I'm glad you asked. And I'm glad you paused right then after I got to eat that. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> That's good. You're going to like this. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. You need a nap and you're drooling right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm enjoying watching you guys eat and hearing about all the things that I can do to help my body. Thank you so much. What's your name? I'm the shark. You're the shark? The shark. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. What good service. Wow. Wow. All right. Now, while this is tempering, just waiting for me, let me run through some, some great trainers, and I hope I don't leave anybody out that I know personally and that I've been referring to for years. First, I'd like to do a shout-out to The Well and Brian Wisely and, um, and Sean, who's a great trainer there, Kyle, and my son, Raya, is actually training there as well. And he's a Czech practitioner. He was trained in the Paul Czech system. And uh, he's an exercise uh, kinesiology coach. Then I'd like to talk about Knut. Knut works over at Laguna Health Club. He's a phenomenal trainer. I'd like to talk about Bert right here at um, the Art of Fitness. He's a phenomenal trainer. Um, let's see, who are some of the other ones that, that I've been referring to? Those are the main guys I've been referring to for, well, we've been in town since 1987, so we're in 31 years here. Uh, and I've known Brian Wisely since the first year we moved in and we started playing volleyball together. And Brian's just phenomenal. He gives great service. And, you know, all these 
um, people, they really focus on what you're wanting to do with your health, what are your fitness goals, and then figure out a strategy and a way to do it. And they'll even talk to you about diet, nutrition, and things like that. So what I wanted to talk to you about is, is a concept that Paul teaches, and here's how it, here's how it goes. Here's a, a chart of priorities. Pain, flexibility, postural stability, strength, and power. What happens is that if you're in pain, you gotta focus on getting out of pain before you start doing things like this, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna make the injury worse. If you have flexibility issues, so many times I find that people's low backs or their necks are really structurally way too tight because they've had old injuries. I was just working with a guy today. He was hit in a, a head-on collision 18 years ago. Um, surgery was recommended. He didn't want to do the surgery. He toughed it out, got some therapies. But what I found is that his range of motion is almost half of what it should be in his neck, and it's about 80% uh, stuck in his low back, and as a result, this has caused problems to continue and continue and continue, where right now, he has a hard time walking without pain, can't run, can't do a lot of the things that he loves to do. Well, guess what? He's got flexibility issues. He's also got postural stability. But if you're doing strength and power type of activities, and you have these issues, you're gonna be down here in no time. So, first, we work on getting pain to decrease. Second, we measure flexibility, like flexibility of the sacroiliac joints, flexibility of the extremities, start working on a plan with exercises and stretches at home, as well as in-office care, to loosen the tight tissues, the adhesions, the scar tissue that happens as a result of those old accidents that we all have. California OSHA found a study that says that the average little six-year-old boy, by the time he turns into his sixth birthday, has had a, an average of 200 traumas, about one every 10 days, falling off the diaper chamber, off the trike, in the shower, off the bike, out of the tree, off the monkey bars, you name it, snow ski, water ski, toboggan runs, ice skating, it goes on in gymnastics, football, I mean, it goes on and on and on. Skimboarding, yeah. body surfing, surfing. I mean, there's traumas that happen all the time. And the way that our body heals is we have a three-day inflammatory wheel. And then after that three days, we have a 12-week wheel of repair where your body starts laying down tissues to heal it. It's called a repair stage. But how it heals it is with laying down scar tissue where those tissues were injured. It's so important. You have to keep moving during that time. Otherwise, you end up with a big fibrous knot of muscle spasm, scar tissue, and adhesions, which restricts flexibility and restricts motion. Postural stability or postural instability, distortions of people's postures one way, the other, out front, farther back, is held in its distortion level by the repair stage where the scar tissue glues us in these certain postures over that 12 week period. So if a person is doing CrossFit, for example, which is a high, high power and strength activity, and they've got flexibility issues, what do you think is eventually gonna happen? Pain. Exactly. Pain and injury, sometimes so significant that they need surgery. I have a, a, a person that I've known for a long time. I've helped him out of crisis a few times and talked to him about what it would take to actually remodel and repair his body and fix the flexibility and postural stability issues so he could go ahead and keep on doing CrossFit. Now CrossFit's fantastic, but if we have these problems, this is where it's gonna go. So, he now has had to have uh, lumbar fusion surgery because we, we only work together for crisis care and we never really did the work to actually fix these things. And now he's out of this altogether, which is a shame. Yeah. But you know, we all have to learn our lessons in, in our own ways. I just finally found somebody when I was 27 that told me that my, the reason I was in pain chronically and had my problems was because of this stability issue. So he worked with me initially to get me out of pain and then worked on fixing my flexibility and we fixed my posture, my x-rays to show it. 
and then I could do all this stuff I wanted to without these problems. Mm -hmm. So it's just a simple process. I wanted you to understand how it works. So if you're training hard, at least make sure that the, the gears of the of the um, of the body are working. Kind of like you think it'd be a good idea to have the front end aligned in your race car before you did the Indianapolis 500. Would that be a good idea to make sure your tires and rims and alignment was good? Do you think you'd run a better race? I did. I had that make sense? That might make sense. And if you had a bent front end, mm -hmm. do you think that might affect your performance? I think it probably would. I think you're right. Yeah. You're right. Mm -hmm. it seems fairly <laughs> simple, doesn't it? But a lot of times, unless we're in crisis, a lot of times we don't take a look at these things. Yeah. But that's a concept I want you to think about. See how it applies to yourself. Think about where you want your quality of life to be, and think about how would I have the best chance of having a good quality of life and not living in chronic pain, or having things continue to get worse and degenerate over time. I mean, arthritis only happens where old injuries happen. It filled in with scar tissue, and then it's got abnormal posture, and gravity is pushing down at 14.7 pounds per square inch on our body. If we have a distortion from what normal is, it's going to load that tissue, and since the tissue isn't moving like it should, it's going to start to calcify, and there's a magnetic pull of phosphorus and calcium in those areas that are under more pressure, and that's how we calcify an age before our time. So arthritis is not predicated on your age, because I have some people that have two areas of their spine that are severely arthritic, but the rest of them, they look like a, a teenager and they're in perfect condition. It's because those two injured, those two areas were injured earlier, it healed with scar tissue, and now it's ab abnormally being pressured from gravity, and now it's going through this premature degenerative process that could be avoided, and can actually still be fixed if you go through fixing this, but usually we have to get your pain levels down, start working on your flexibility, fix your posture, and then you can do as much of this as you want your risk factor goes way down. Yeah, that's great. So, I love that. Yeah. So if someone were, let's say they're in the flexibility place where their flexibility is not great, they're not in pain, but they have some flexibility issues, they have some posture stability. What's like, is there a specific time frame before you need to focus on flexibility, before moving to posture stability, before moving to strength? What's the time frame? Or is it well, just dependent on... Good question. Usually if someone's already in pain, we're going to focus that that first phase of your care is all about getting a person out of pain. It's really important to get out of pain. Because then you can start to resume activities. So this is first. This is second. This is third. It really depends on how bad a person's in pain. Yeah. Like I have a guy that came in to me a month ago. Um, he's a triathlete. Incredible athlete. Just an incredible fitness and shape. But he walked in like this in severe pain. Didn't even know really where it happened. It just kind of happened. And uh, and now he's getting ready to do a triathlon this Sunday because we went through quite a process to pull him out of pain and start working on these things to the point where now he feels like, you know what? I can go do a triathlon. It's like, wow. I mean, think about where you were a month ago to this. But he's also committed to himself that he's going to fix this stuff so he doesn't go back here again so he can do as much of this as he wants to. He's 46 years old and he wants to he wants to keep active until he's in his 80s and 90s. So it's just a choice. It's really where we place our value and what's important to us. You know, a lot of people it's really important to buy that new car and they'll spend 40 grand, 50 grand and that's where their value is is that new car. A lot of people will pay money, invest in remodeling their, their kitchen or their bathroom. And, and some will actually remodel their body. It's just all a choice. It's really where you put your value and, and what's important to you and what's important to you in your future. So anyhow, that's kind of how it works. Yeah. yeah. I think this is such a great visual. Such, It's a really helpful reminder, like whenever we're going to make our decisions about, you know, our exercise protocols or the activities we're going to do, it's really helpful to check in with these things. Like, am I in pain? How's my flexibility? How is my posture doing? And really taking a look at that before we're going to engage in these activities. So I really like this. I think this is a great, great visual for life.
And also, listen to your body. If you're starting to feel something, make sure you listen. Mm -hmm. But you know, pain a lot of times is the last thing to show. Just ask your dentist. How many of you have ever been to the dentist and you got your, you're getting your tooth clean and they're, they're cleaning your teeth and you go, oh, you better have the doctor take a look at this. It looks like you might have a cavity over there. And oh, there's one over here. I remember one time I went to the dentist just to get my teeth cleaned and I had five cavities. This was early on before I really got interested in my health and flossing and all that. I was raised on the American diet of Coca-Cola and donuts and all that ridiculous stuff as a little kid. 1954, I was born, you go through the 50s and 60s. That's kind of what we did. Chris Co, you're up now. Um, but, uh, so I've asked my dentist friends, how long does it take before a cavity turns into a toothache? Every dentist I've ever asked, ask your dentist, every dentist I've ever asked laughs and then says somewhere between 10 and 20 years. So it takes a long time before that cavity gets into the nerve root and caused you a toothache. But the reality is, is it kept being worse and worse and worse and we weren't even aware of it. That's why it's always a good idea to get checked out, get your posture checked, get your range of motion checked, be proactive or not, you know, come in crisis, whatever. But there's options, you know, choices, and what we place our value on. So, mm -hmm. I think that's it. Think that's Any great. questions anybody's questions, got going on? What do you questions. think, Josh? So, we have a, a few questions. Ooh, amazing. So, one question we have, of what you guys are offering for pain remedies, which do you find to be the most um, proactive? And then what do you find to be the best preventative offer okay. for um, pain, mm -hmm. whether focusing on specifically more in terms of training? Uh -huh. So the CrossFit example was, yeah. was a good one. Uh -huh. Okay. What do you want to say? Well, um, I think that's probably a better question for you. <laughs> I'm trying to eat here, though. Come on. <laughs> Such a healthy lunch too, avocado. I know, it's amazing. That's a superfood. Right avocado there. mousse <laughs> with avocado on top. There it is. Yeah. That's how I break my intermittent fast. That makes my body lose weight. I've lost 15 pounds. Yeah. I still got a ways to go. Yeah. You know, I, Ben Franklin's not a good look for me. So, uh, <laughs> anyhow, well, here's some here's some proactive things to do. Number one, um, using fish oils on a regular basis is really good and I like the Metagenics and I like the Zymogen products, two really good companies. It's micro distilled to remove any heavy metals. So when you're using fish oils, you wanna make sure it's micro distilled. Number two, um, and, and you could take basically two to three morning and night because that'll get your inflammatory rate down. There's uh, something called arachidonic acid and uh, EPA, which is the fish oil anti-inflammatory component. There's a ratio that we tested in the clinic, and you should be under a five uh, ratio of arachidonic acid, which is pro-inflammatory to uh, EPA. But I just had a patient come in, fit person, they're at a level 30. Now, most of the hardened criminals and violent criminals have inflammatory rates at between 40 to 80. And when they did these studies of these guys that commit violent crimes, their inflammatory rates are on like crazy. Their brains are on fire. So getting hydrated, half your body weight in ounces of water per day. So if you weigh 164 pounds, that was remarkably accurate. Is that good? 165. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was that was really right. remarkable. All right. <laughs> so you need 82 ounces of water a day to stay hydrated. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. Um, fish oils, morning and night. Even just take a couple. It's going to keep your inflammation down. Mm -hmm. It's going to keep your hormones balanced, and it'll make you age more slowly and keep your skin looking good. Um, next thing is magnesium. I like magnesium um, glycinate. It is less to give. It less likely to give you diarrhea. <laughs> but calcium does this to a muscle. Magnesium does that to a muscle. So if you ever find you're kind of tight or you're cramping, go up on your magnesium and your fish oils. And uh, if somebody's in chronic or, or acute pain, 
I'll give them two magnesium and two fish oils every hour with a glass of water until they go to bed. Don't do, don't wake up at night. But what that does is it's like taking a natural anti-inflammatory, a natural muscle relaxant, and a natural pain reliever because the fish oils also decrease pain pathways. So there's a couple of proactive things that you need to do. Hydration, magnesium glycinate, and uh, EPA, fish oils. Oh, amazing. Oh, your chocolate, right? Wow. Those are Mago, it's a local brand. Mago. I love Mago, that's part. So, that is so this is cauliflower tacos for everybody. This is the, they're both habanero, but the green is going to be in honor of the moment. Wow. wow, that looks amazing. Right. Wow, that's Thank beautiful. you so much. Gorgeous. Now, I just talked about stuff that you can do at home, you know. The other thing is ice, if you're ever hurting and pain, 20 minutes on, 40 minutes off. Go like that. Um, also an Epsom salt bath, awesome. Mm -hmm. Go to the, the store and get Epsom salts. I like to put it in a sock, an athletic sock. Put two pounds in an athletic sock, put, the, put a rubber band around it, and then get in the hot bath and put it wherever you're sore. If you're sore across the neck, I put one sock across the neck, get the water up to your ears, and put another sock down your mid-back. And sink back into that for a half an hour. If your low back is sore, fill up the bath halfway, put a whole four pound bag of salt into a big mountain of salt, and sit your low back right on and soak for half an hour. That pulls those inflammatory acids out because it's magnesium salts that go in, so through osmosis, the salinity of the salt will pull the acids out, and the magnesium will infuse in so you loosen up. So those are two other home care things, ice and heat using um, uh, the extra salt bath. And then, you know, just get on a, you know, a basic good stretching program. But I mean, if you ever want to get very specific about what stretching you need to do most for your postural distortions, that's where our evaluation comes in. If we find postural distortions or range of motion issues um, or nerve involvement that's abnormal, then we'll take postural x-rays and then put together an entire plan of care, entire exercises that are very specific for you. That's how progressive all this stuff has gotten. Yeah, it's good. So that kind of brings us to our Lunch with the Doc special, which is an exciting part of the show. Um, so basically, we always give you and means to actually enact some of the stuff that we talked about in the show. So this week we talked a lot about posture and the importance of having postural stability before you can get to your power and your strength. And that if you're doing power and strength exercises without that postural stability, eventually you're going to end up in pain. So what does that look like? How can you um, really get your postural stability under control? So that's what we want to offer to you is doing a full postural chiropractic assessment where you can come in, we'll take a look at your range of motion, we'll take a look at some x-rays if those are needed, and um, the doctors will do a full workup work up on you, and then provide you with really a plan for how do you get from where you are to where you want to be, so that you can do the strength, you can do the power without eventually coming into that place of pain. So, um, we're going to do that for you guys for a special of $97, so that's our lunch with the dog. We are? Yeah. I know. It's pretty amazing. That comprehensive exam, if you if you all are part of it, would be about six hundred. Um, but we we're trying to get the message out there. Of course, we'll do it, and uh, it'll be on us. So at ninety seven, uh, how can you go wrong? And and we'll show you what your options are. We we'll give you here's a diagnosis. Here's what what you're experiencing. Here's what you want to experience. Here's what your life would look like if you were experiencing that. And then just show you some different ways you can get there based on what you want to do. Mm -hmm. That's it. So if you want to take advantage of that special, you have to call this week. You have to call this week, 949-497-2553. And um, it's going to be good until Monday, October 15th. So call in in the next few days. Mention that you saw the Lunch with the Dog special and you want to get the postural assessment. So any last things? Any more questions? What do you think, Josh? You know, I think this is really, really awesome. So, you know, what we're going to end up doing uh, from a CarePoint perspective, uh, so as we wrap this up so I can actually have some of this awesome food here. By the way, check that out, Paul. You haven't even he was right. I'm, I'm drooling over yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to give away a... Uh, you know, that was very helpful. I, I told you I was drooling. Um, so we're going to actually do a couple of different giveaways. Um, please uh, send us a message. Um, 
if you're interested and obviously local, we're gonna give away um, one item from Health and Balance. Um, so please uh, take a look at what they have to offer. B12 shots, infusion therapies, that IV. awesome yeah. uh, IV, yeah. IV nutritional therapy, yeah. um, the awesome chiropractic assessment, detox foot bath, which you know is my favorite. <laughs> and we're also going to give away something to uh, Oak Street down here. So send us a message so we can How get it over to them. They can send us a message right through Instagram. Okay. Um, be sure to at least reply what to our they, Instagram. What do they do on Instagram? Yeah. So what they can do is hopefully they have watched this video and what they can do is actually send us a message okay. um, about something that they would like from Health and Balance and CarePoint is actually going to fund it with CarePoints. Wow. Boom. So awesome. send That's us a, a message. Deal. They're awesome. And uh, please uh, go check out Health and Balance in Laguna Beach. You really can't beat what they're, what, what they're doing down here. And Oak Street. I'm dying to eat this stuff. Thanks, buddy. All right. All right, guys. Thank Stop. you for joining us. Check us next time. Awesome.